Welcome back to EPG program in Japanese, paper 5, module 21, communication through translation, Honya Kutsuji Teno communication. We are in uh, this series, learn while practicing patent, and this is the fourth module, Jisen Shinagara Gakshusuru Tokyo, uh, Tokyo Yon. These are the learnings of the previous modules. Uh, in any patent, either the claim is too long or there are too many claims. All together, uh, when the lines are more or when there are many number of uh, segments coming one after the other it looks quite clumsy mechanical handling is the way which was suggested in the previous module units may be translated as per the existing corpus that means whatever you have uh, translate uh, blindly as per the corpus and the necessary modifications may be made at a later stage if need be dropping unnecessary words term components may improve the style for example, dispersion, composition. Dispersion itself has is, is a composition, so composition is not required. What the the key here is that lighter the better. So drop the words which uh, do not affect the sentence or the content. Context-based elements, for example, a contextual equivalent for shoe. It is the meaning is variety or type or category. But when it says issue. It is definitely referring back to something which has been talked about in the context. In this particular case, it was referring to compound, so it was translated as compound. Uh, if you don't understand, then put one or something type or category which gives the flow. 5W1H appears to be an important tool in the translation, and substitution with familiar or simple word words reduces the pressure or increases the comfort level of the translator. In this module, uh, uh, the application of translation techniques uh, would be uh, done on patent translation, uh, where the simplification through combination and permutation is one target, and some other important components. We have done scope of patent in the scope of patent claim in the previous one, so there are some other components. For example, abstract detailed explanation of the invention that will be covered uh, in this module. Objectives remain uh, same, that is the professional pursuit, defining way forward for the practitioners while attempting new uh, domain. And the guiding principles are follow the systematic approach, though combination of techniques remain dynamic. Look for the way to handle the deviation, render accurate translation uh, with reasonable readability even in patents. And the outcome expected out of uh, this, this module also is practicing scholars of translation. Uh, that means grooming the practicing uh, scholars of translation sailing who could sail through the patent translation that means uh, the, let's say it gives the confidence uh, building measures generating realistic theories through practice and the trainer's trainer let's go with other important components of the patent this is abstract uh, you know this it it's already divided into two components 57 is the number that is the international classification number for the abstract yoyaku and under yoyaku it has divided the component the whole content into two parts first is the kadai that means there must be some issue which we want to uh, resolve so the kadai and that kadai is coming in one and a half line and then kaiketsu shudan so the steps are the way used for finding the solution this you know if, if the, what I said a while ago in the previous slide uh, this has given you some hint uh, but if you look carefully the words like yoyaku, kadai, kaiketsu, shudan they need to be handled as uh, units or compound terms for example kaiketsu, shudan can be treated as a compound term but it is also a unit and if we see the rest of the three and half uh, or maybe one line first and there are three and a half lines so one line is one segment segment one and let's take the second paragraph as segment two if need be we'll divide it later you know setting aside the domain specific units first this is what we we'll have seen in the previous module so let's uh, we have we are going to apply that here also this is what is the yoyaku kadai and kaiketsu shudan yoyaku means abstract or summary the dictionary gives uh, many equivalents for yoyaku uh, we have to go by the patent specific equivalent which is abstract which is used uh, normally instead of saying summary uh, it's abstract very uh, most I think uh, more than 99 percent kadai is uh, issues or issue uh, depends upon the context if there is only one issue handled then it can be issue if there are more than one issue 
then it will be issues. That's the closest equivalent. And Kaiketsu Shudan is a means to resolve. It's a compound term, can be explained as Kaiketsu no Tame no Shudan. Again, it's a domain specific unit. All the three units, uh, including the compound term, are in fact universal, but as equivalence in patent will always be the same, these units can be called domain specific unit applicable in all in other domains also. And now let's see the uh, the first segment. If we see, okay, the second part and the Kazai also is dropped, so the rest part is quite simple. It's new Kazai, po shio sezuni, in so ka pori orifin rui. It's almost same what we have seen in the previous slide. Suise, jushi, bunsan, so sebutsu, same, o te Yes. Let's do the substitution first and the substitution plus unit approach. Uh, new Kazai. Jai is understood agent or shio sezuni. Then that means this new compound can be replaced by a so a o shio sezuni. And then there's a long compound which we had substituted in the previous module also in so ka pori orifin. No, there it was orifin. Here it is rui. That means it rui means s will come with this. No uh, suise uh, jushi bunsan so se butsu take your suru. Just let's go back to the previous one. If you see here the the last line, A O Shio Sezuni, B no Shio Take your Suru. So it's quite simple. And if we handle this, handle it, it's Shio Sezuni. Sezuni is uh, universal. Shio Sezuni also is actually a universal type of uh, unit. Uh, but Sezuni can of course go with something else also. So it is without using. And Take your Suru. Uh, a simple verb basically but uh, its equivalent will find it quite difficult uh, in picking up from the dictionary so mostly in patent you have to go by the the context and in the case of patent normally it will be to provide so nyukazai or shio sezuni is without using emulsifying agent so in this uh, unit a o shio sezuni without using a so it becomes quasi universal and again, this long compound that is Ensoka Pori Orifin Rui no, so you say Jushi Munsan Sose Butsu o Take Your Suru. So, O Take Your Suru provides and O direct object, so provide acquisition dispersion composition of chlorinated polyolefin. So, here A no B o Take Your Suru, it was the you know, type of frame, provides B of A, so it's a quasi universal unit and uh, Satisfactory unit wise equivalence was possible to obtain as a uh, satisfactory uh, or to obtain to go ahead with the unit wise equivalence was quite satisfactory here. Now, let us see uh, if we can use 5W1H for transpositioning. Okay, I have Anu with me for this uh, uh, module. Uh, so, let's see the questions. Okay, take your suru. Enso ka pori orifin rui no sui se jushi bunsan so se butsu. Nyu ka zai o shio se zuni. This seems to be quite simple, you know. So provides acquisition, dispersion, composition of chlorinated polyolefin without using emulsifying agent. Uh, okay, uh, let's do some fine tuning. Uh, initial translation is by putting issue comes as same what we read a while ago that is provides aqueous resin dispersion composition of chlorinated polyolefin without using emulsifying agent and fine tuning is just put to to provide to provide aqueous resin even even if we want to leave two it's fine but fine tuning will make it a little better in this sentence there is no topic uh, therefore the sentence begins with verb keeping the topic silent uh, this patent that is that that is silent here, which normally we have seen in the previous uh, examples, we were adding uh, from our side. Translations obtained by unit plus substitution technique and 5W1H technique are same. Uh, therefore, you need to select the one which is simple. So, two techniques used and we find that uh, both are giving the same output. Let's see the segment two now. Uh, this is a bit uh, long one. So, how would you like to go? Let's see. Uh, can okay. Let's go by verbs first. 
देर इज सम कंपाउंड हेयर पोरियोरिफिन सन हेन से एनसो का पोरियोरिफिन को एंकी से बुशित सुधे चुवाशी सो इट्स बेसिकली चुवाशी एंड देन मीजोनी बोनसान सासे थे अगेन देर इज अ वर्ब नारू सुई से जूशी बुनसान सो से बुत्सु नारा बिनी सन हेन से एनसो का पोरियोरिफिन ओ एथिर के योजाइनी यो कई सासे सो दिस इज अगेन ए वर्ब यो कई सासे एंड देन इट सेज कोरेनी एंकी से बुशित सुगो कुआते चुवाशी सो कुआते वर्ब वर्ब एंड देन चुवाशता आतो नी मिजो कुआते अगेन वर्ब बुनसान सासे अगेन वर्ब सुई दे एथिर के योजाई ओ जो क्यों सुरु को तो ओ अगेन वर्ब तोक्चो तो सुरु सुई से जूशी बुनसान सोसे बुत्सु नो सेजो हो ओ इट्स टॉकिंग अबाउट समथिंग एट द एंड विच इज सेजो हो हो सो व्हाई नॉट टेक इट आउट दैट इज कोतो तोक्चो तो सुरु सुई से जूशी बुनसान सोसे बुत्सु नो सेजो हो हो नो दिस व्हेन वी टेक इट आउट दिस वाज सेगमेंट 2 सो दिस गोस एज सेगमेंट 2 ए सो इट बिकम्स यूनिट प्लस सेगमेंट 2 ए एंड सेगमेंट 2 रिमेंस अबव व्हिच इज नाउ स्लाइटली स्मॉलर सो लेट्स सी द सेगमेंट 2 ए फर्स्ट बिकॉज़ दैट इज अ स्मॉलर वन This is koto tokcho to suru, uh, and it's a unit. So, in the target language, it comes as method of manufacturing aqueous in dispersion composition, wherein, and if we try to to make it full, it will be this patent deals with method of manufacturing aqueous resin dispersion composition, wherein, if you want, you can drop the composition. It does not require detailed analysis, so you need to you can refer back to the module 19 to see the transposition process for this unit. Now let's see the segment two. Okay, let's go with the questions. Okay, Sui se Jushi Bunsan so se Butsu Ganaru or okay. Dono unit. San Hen se Enso ka Pori or if in O some compound O. Enki se Boshitsu de Chuashi so O de Chuashi Mizuni Bunsan sa se te Naru. Because Narabini was there, so that's why I think she's asking this question. So let me see. Yes, it's a sun hence enso griffin o ether ke yoza ini yo kai sa se. Oh, one more question. Okay, let me see. Ya kore ni enki se boshitsu o kuwaite chuwashi. Sonoa to mizu o kuwaite bonsan sa se. सुइदे एथर के योजा योज जो क्या शुरू सो फाइव डब्ल्यू वन एच इज वर्क वेल इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस बिकॉज इट्स ए प्रोसेस इन्वॉल्विंग सीक्वेंस ऑफ स्टेप्स और सीक्वेंस ऑफ वर्ब्स दीज आर द आंसर्स ऑन द लेफ्ट एंड साइड एंड द इक्वेलेंस इज गिवन ऑन द राइट एंड साइड सुई से जोशी बोनसान सो से बुसूवर्स डन अर्लियर सेक्वेंस रेज इन डिस्पर्शन कॉम्पोजिशन और डिस्पर्शन ओनली Then for the next one, A O B de chuashi mizuni bonsan sa se de naru. It comes as formed by neutralizing the acid modified chlorinated polyolefin with basic substance and dispersing in water. And narabini san hen se enso ka polyolefin o ether ke yozai ni yo kai sa se ru. It comes as dissolving an acid modified chlorinated polyolefin in an ether solvent. The Koreni Enki se se Enki se Bushitsu kuwaite Chuashi comes as neutralizing the acid modified chlorinated polyolefin with basic substance, and Mizu kuwaite Bunsan sa se is dispersed by adding water. Suide ether ke yoza yo jokyo suru and removing the ether solvent. Now the initial translation is. the given here by joining that and in the you know let me read it out it's uh, means to resolve method of manufacturing aqueous resin dispersion composition formed by neutralizing the acid modified chlorinated polyolefin with basic substance and dispersing in water dissolving an acid modified chlorinated polyolefin in an ether solvent after neutralizing the acid modified chlorinated polyolefin with basic substance dispersed by adding water and removing either ether solvent and the fine tuning uh, this 
the present invention or this invention deals with comes in the beginning rest remains same there is joining in between by which is formed by neutralizing the acid because it was not there formed by was only there which is formed so that connects then and dissolving an acid modified chlorinated and is added here for better flow that's all so patent specific writing style has been used in the final translation number 1 and the reconstruction in target language if it is found difficult it can be handled through application of 5w1h we have said this we have seen this in the previous modules also so use in this case use which is to connect uh, when flow is clear else use wherein and write clauses sequentially you know when you understand fully then because it's an adjectival part so you can use which or which is easily otherwise put wherein and go in sequence sequential order you know now the second part that is detailed explanation of invention this is what is the detailed explanation uh, hatsume no shousai na setsume and then there is 0001 and 0002 0001 stands for hatsume no zokusuru gijitsu bunya and 0002 stands for jurai no gijitsu to hatsume ga kaiketsu shiyou to suru kadai now uh, in the shousai na setsume in this particular uh, patent there are two only given there could be more than uh, two uh, but we will take these two here first let's see first part if we see the domain specific terms that is hatsume no shousai na setsume detailed explanation of the invention this is already covered in the mod in module 18 uh, then hatsume no zokusuru gijitsu bunya this is a technical Uh, field of this invention uh, domain specific universal unit these two terms are domain specific units however the second term hatsume no zokusuru uh, gijitsu bunya is same as hatsume ga zokusuru uh, gijitsu bunya and can also be translated as technical field that the invention belongs to then uh, also invention can be dropped from both the terms that is title of the invention can be only title you know it has been mentioned already hmm? let's see now uh, the frame uh, then 5w1h combinations uh, frame in in this case is uh, yes anu please read out the frame mon hatsu me wa nani nani ni kansuru so this invention relates to now please note that this particular uh, style is coming for the first time in this module uh, ever since we started the series of uh, patent ni kansuru so hon hatsume because it is ni kansuru so there is no need to say that this patent deals with we straight away go with this invention relates to uh, okay first question nani ni kansuru nani ni kansuru sui se jushi bunsan so se butsu oyobi sono seizo ho ni kansuru bono yo e to primary na do primary to shite shio sareru pori ori uh, what is this pori puropiren uh, to no pori pore pi uh, pori orefen ke joshini taisuru and the equivalents are given on the right side that is aqueous resin dispersion composition and its method of manufacturing and for the second one uh, used as primer and its uh, method of manufacturing uh, two polyfen resins such as Uh, polypropylene and now these combinations are you know spread over it's not coming in series as, as it came in the previous exam one of the previous examples the initial translation in this case would be detailed explanation was fine the triple zero one is to be repeated as it is because this is a universal uh, code then technical field uh, is also a uh, unit which is universal and this invention relates to aqueous resin dispersion composition to poly olefin uh, resin such as polypropylene and used as primer and its method of manufacturing looking at this alone gives you a sense that not really very good flow so let's modify the flow by fine tuning and it becomes this invention relates to aqueous resin dispersion composition composition can also be dropped here used as primer for polyolefin resins such as polypropylene and its method of manufacturing once again your question will be how to arrive at this conclusion that for is to be added 
in this particular case here. Uh, this of course will come by 5W1H application. If you try to put uh, 5W1H, apply 5W1H during the transpositioning in the target language, it will come automatically. So in the final translation, uh, Nita Isuru has been translated as for which is context dependent uh, equivalence. Further, the patent, the pattern used in Hon Hatsumeva Ni Kansuru and this uh, can be translated as this patent relates to directly. No need to follow the patent specific writing style of this patent deals with something wherein. Hmm? 0002 now, uh, Jurai no Gijitsu to Hatsume ga kaiketsu shio to suru kadai and Pori uh, Propiren to no Pori Orefin K. Joshi wa Sugreta Seishitsu o mochi Anka de aru koto kara Jidousha buhin to ni Tario ni Tario ni shio sare teiru Shikashi nagara Pori Orefin K. Joshi wa Kesho se de Yomen wa so, this is uh, Jurai no Gijitsu, that means the Gijitsu, the technology which have been used so far, to Hatsumega and the issues that this invention Kaiketsu Shioto Suru attempts at solving. This is the first one I have just explained. So, Jurai no Gijitsu to Hatsume can be replaced. Kaiketsu Shioto Suru Kadai again can be replaced. So, A to B ga Kaiketsu Shioto Suru C. And A and C that B tries to resolve. A was Jurai no Gijitsu, which is prior art basically. And B is Hatsume that is invention and C is Kadai. The prior art and issue that invention that the invention tries to resolve. This is not very good but uh, as as such uh, the translation comes like this you know in the previous one this prior art prior art is okay the prior art search or prior art you might have heard but uh, while translating literal translation of the japanese characters would serve better that means the existing technology instead of saying prior art uh, prior art means which was there since unknown times uh, and existing technology is the technology which is available now without saying uh, since when. Now, uh, looking at the rest of the part, if we do the segmentation of the remaining component, it comes as Pori Propiren Tono Pori Orifin Ke Jushiva Sugireta Se Shitsu Mochi Anka De Aru Kotokara Jidosha Bohin Toni Taryoni Shio Sarenderu. So, this is a simple sentence. So, if we simplify it further, it will be uh, something Tono Pori Orifin Ke Jushiva something Shio Sarenderu something nishiyo sarateru, something no tame nishiyo sarateru, anything is possible. Polyolefin resins such as polypropylene are used, was the equivalent and now let us try to put uh, 5W1H. Jidosha buhin toni, that is in automotive parts etc. Tharyoni, in large amount today, in large amount. Sugreta uh, seishitsu o mochi, Anka de aru koto kara. So because of having it, because of because it has or because of having excellent properties and for being inexpensive. So poly olefin resins such as polypropylene are used in automotive parts, etc., in large amount because of having excellent uh, properties and for being in, inexpensive. And this initial translation. Uh, you know, because of having excellent properties and for being inexpensive, the fine tuning will be polyolefin resin, such as polypropylene, are used in automotive parts, uh, etc., in large amount as as it is, as it is inexpensive and has excellent excellent properties. You can retain the previous slide style if you feel that is better, but second style appears to be better. So the aru kotokara has been translated as as in this particular case yeah you this is the uh, second uh, part of that uh, second paragraph so yes uh, anu please read out the, the the japanese part yeah 
के जोशीवा ट्रांसफोर so, yeah, Kesho se de human va mukhyo se no thame, as it is crystalline and its surface is non-polar. So the initial translation come as come as, however, as regards polyolefin resins, as it is crystalline and its surface is non-polar, these resins have problems such as coating or bonding is difficult, and the fine-tuned one comes as, however, as polyolefin resins are crystalline and the surface is non-polar. these resins have problems such as coating or bonding is difficult as regards has been dropped in this particular case uh, you know when you are not very clear then as regards is put but when you are clear then as regards can be dropped uh, then use of singular or plural is context uh, dependent this is the Translation triple zero two remains as it is. The jurai no gijits to hats mega kai ke sushi o to suru kadai becomes existing technology and issue uh, or issues that the invention tries to resolve. And the translation is poly olefin resins such as uh, polypropylene are used in automotive parts etc. in large amount or large quantity as it is inexpensive and has excellent properties. However, as polyolefin resins are crystalline and the surface is non-polar, these resins have problems such as coating or bonding is difficult. And now uh, let's see one more example. Uh, this is triple zero five, so it will remain as triple zero five, which we need not bother for the time being. And hon hatsi me no mokte ki va. Of course, you know that it has given you the topic mokte ki va, jo ki no jo na jurai ki jisu no. मोंदाई ओ काई के सुशी थे न्यूकाजाई ओ शियो से जुनी एनसो का पोरी और इफिन रुई नो सुई से जूशी बोनसान सो से बुत्सु ओ ते के सुरु कोतो नहीं आरु सो मुक्ते की वा कोतो नहीं आरु सो द फ्रेम आइडेंटिफिकेशन वुड बी होन हाथ्स में नो मुक्ते की वा एनसो का पोरी और इफिन रुई नो सुई से जूशी बोनसान सो से बुत्सु ओ ते के सुरु कोतो नहीं आरु Now, if you are very clear up to up to this much, there is no need to go for further, uh, you know, even dropping of or substitution of this compound in between. But to still to to improve the comfort level, uh, we are saying hon hats me no mokte ki va something a o te ki usur kotha ni aru. So objective of this invention lies in providing a. And when we join, it becomes objective of this invention lies in providing aqueous resin composition of chlorinated polyolefins. and comment is uh, here identifying the frame first makes the job easier let's see uh, the remaining component uh, if we see the classification it's uh, the source language can be divided into two parts first that is joki no yona jurai gitsu no mondai o kai ke sushiete this is the micro frame and one unit here new ka zaiyo shio sesuni Uh, let's first see the uh, micro frame jo ki no yo na jurai ki jisu no mondai yo kai ke sushi ete it's a micro frame and uh, to understand it better we will decipher the units that is jo ki no yo na or you can say decipher the segments in this particular case jo ki no yo na and then jurai ki jisu no mondai yo kai ke sushi ete these are probably two units jo ki no yo na is a universal one of course jurai ki jisu is Uh, specific domain specific unit mondai o kai ke to shiete there is some quasi element here shiete otherwise mondai kai ke is a quite universal okay uh, the units are jo ki no yona as listed above and jurai ki jitsu no mondai o kai ke to shiete means being able to solve the problems in prior art 
So both units of uh, units can be treated as uh, universal units. However, for the sake of simplification, one can attempt these units as A no yona uh, plus B no C uh, o kaiketsu shiete. And the combination is being able to solve the problem in prior art at li as listed above. You know, if familiar with the process, you don't need to break the clauses into units. Uh, one can translate, translate it uh, in one go as a clause. Now, the remaining part also had new Kazayo uh, Shio Sezuni, which is a unit only, so without using emulsifying agent, which are, it was explained earlier. And now, frame plus uh, 5W1H combination on the frame. Uh, is Honatsume no Mokteki wa, then there was the substituted one, O Tekyo Suru Koto ni Aru, and the translation comes as the objective of this, in, this invention lies in providing that A, which is aqueous resin composition of chlorinated polyolefin. Uh, let's see the 5W1H on uh, this frame. Nyukaza yo Shio Sezuni. Joki no Yona. Jurai Gijitsu no Mondayo Kaiketsu Shiete. And the translation comes as objective of this invention lies in being able to solve the problem in prior art as listed above, providing aqueous resin composition of chlorinated polyolefins without using classifying it, uh, emulsifying agent. The initial translation, as we have just seen, its objective of this invention lies in being able to solve the problem. So, this needs some modification probably in prior art again needs modification as I explained a while ago. As listed above providing aqueous resin composition of chlorinated this providing is also not coming very smoothly. So let's see uh, some fine tuning objective of this invention is to be able to solve the problems. Lies in is also fine that can be retained uh, to solve the problem in the existing technology. Uh, this is for the prior art as listed above and to provide an aqueous resin composition of chlorinated polyolefins without using emulsifying agent. In the final translation, this Jurai Gijitsu is translated as existing translation, existing uh, technology, which indicates that con constituting elements and the subject matter knowledge may help in selection of appropriate equivalent. That's all uh, in this module. We have done few examples here and the learning is classification of a sentence components at the initial stage. It actually amounts to Seri Seton of Japanese 5S uh, system. Uh, Seri Seton, I believe you all know, that means you take out all the things uh, which are there in a, in a manner or, or you can say put all the pieces on the table first and seton means organize these segments in such a way that whatever you require at whatever time can be picked out. The process uh, this time probably didn't look so too long. I think we have we could go quite smoothly. So though still I'm saying that process may look too long and perhaps confusing also, but better list various combinations <coughs> and pick the suitable among uh, these combinations, pick the suitable combination from among these combinations. Basically, combination and permutation is the key here. For example, 5W1H alone, frame 5W1H, uh, 5W1H frame, then again 5W1H, and frame unit 5W1H, etc. These are some of the combinations, but choice is yours. We saw in the previous module, uh, picking up the units if you know, and then applying 5W1H can give you a good beginning. If you find that's not helping, then go for the frame. Uh, most appropriate combination is the one that that one is most comfortable with in any case. So it is not necessary to apply all or more than one technique on a text. However, if you apply more than one technique, it ensures accuracy or the better comprehension. Then, as seen in the in this module also, in all the combinations, 5W1H uh, has played a key role. In particular, uh, in the case of uh, you know the examples we have done here that is the patent uh, in other words application of 5w1h in rendering target language ensures accuracy further and as a whole two main steps are <clears throat> the simplification of the process that means simplify the translation process by combination and permutation and organize the combinations of techniques that can be standardized so this is seri seton 
and the last one organizing the information is very important these are the two references used in this module thank you so much arigatou gozaimasu see you again with few more examples of patent probably in module 22